morning from Puebla. Today is my only full day here in the town, so I need to make the most of it and do as much as possible. So the plan for this morning is to actually go on a small little day trip to a suburb called Cholula, and there is actually the largest pyramid in the world. It's four times larger than the Great Pyramid of Giza, so that will be really exciting to see. Also, if I'm lucky, and the clouds and rain has cleared, I can see the um, Mexico's two most famous volcanoes from the distance, so that should be a really cool way to spend the morning. In the afternoon, I'm planning on coming back into the town, wandering around the museums, which some of them are free because it's a Tuesday, so that's really cool. And then I'm gonna go get some famous mole for dinner. So it's gonna be a great day exploring, and I'm really excited to check out the sights. Cholula archaeological site and this is awesome so the entrance is like basically a maze of tunnels underground you can see oh my gosh this is so cool and it was 70 pesos the uh, international person but this is awesome I'm so excited See, that's what the pyramid looks like. Oh. <laughs> Never ending tunnels. <laughs> I'm about to have a nerd overload at how cool this place is. Literally, I'm on my own, down in some tunnels underneath the pyramid. This is so cool. Like, I feel like really seeing history. You think about how old this place is and when this was made. And this is the biggest pyramid in the world. See, I see light. Okay. So I've reached the outside and now I just have to follow the signs. That was actually super awesome. behind me is dedicated to Our Lady Remedies and it's actually built on the site of the pyramid which is really cool as you can see it's quite an impressive building and the views are even more impressive around here sadly I think it might be too cloudy to see the volcanoes but this is still an amazing place look at that stunning Wow. Chicula is definitely worth a visit. If you're in Puebla, you have to come here. This is by far, I think, one of my favorite places I've visited so far on my trip. So I've come to the outside of the pyramid and I'm just walking around so I can get a better view of it. So obviously the, um, the church was built on top of the site so 
what I'm going to see over there is kind of what's left of the outside bit that you can see. So I'm currently exploring the remains of the largest pyramid in the world. It's four times larger than the Great Pyramid in Giza and as you can see it's just started raining. But this place is incredible. There's so much to see and learn about the ancient Mesoamericans. Um, but maybe I should try and find some cover now as it's raining. Wow. So my advice to anybody visiting Mexico in August and September is that it's rainy season, which means that you may need a raincoat slash umbrella, unlike me, who has no common sense whatsoever, apparently. <laughs> um, hopefully this doesn't get any worse, but this site is absolutely incredible. So I've just taken a shelter under a tree and hope that this storm will pass uh, quickly so I can carry on having a wander around. If not, I might have to kind of bail for a while and go and get coffee or something and wait it out. It's not too bad, it's not too heavy. The rain has cleared, hooray, hooray. That means I can carry on exploring and I don't have to run to cover or I don't have to get completely soaking wet, although I think I kind of already am. But still, this place is insane. I didn't really want to leave. So I'm kind of glad that the weather is sort of holding up. It's kind of drizzling a little bit, but it's bearable. So we'll, we'll carry on. Well done. There you go. <laughs> <That's here. laughs> oh. Some lovely guy just helped me build a path across the water and apparently I can go up the steps. Wow. This is pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. That was cool. Ah. So I've climbed stairs, I'm at the top. I'm now in the Zacola in Puebla and it started raining yet again, so I'm going to try and find something indoors to do. <laughs> but I can't control the weather. I think I found the entrance to the library, so I'm going to go in here and hope this is it. I have had such an incredible day exploring both Puebla and Cholula and I hope you enjoyed uh, watching like everything that I've seen and done today. Um, so I'm in my hostel, it's raining again, but I'm gonna go outside now, <laughs> like I think now if it's not that bad, and go and get some dinner. So obviously one of the most famous dishes in Puebla is uh, mole. So I have never had mole before, I think today will be a very good day to try it. So there's a Mexican restaurant down the road from here that's supposed to be really good, and I'm gonna go there now and try the morning. So I will see you guys later.